To start this look off, I'm using my Spackle Primer from Laura Geller. I really like this primer. Put it all over. I chose this primer because I'm also using the Laura Geller Filter First Foundation. I'm using two shades. One is Pecan and the other is Cognac. Pecan is my summer shade, but sometimes I'll mix the two of them together like I did today. And I got a little carried away with the pecan, so I had to go back in with some more of the cognac shade. Still a little too red, but that's okay. Just decided to work with it. And use my Clinique powder. I believe this one is shade four. My fluffy brush. As you can see, I got a little carried away with the powder too, but <laughs> I always do that. And I went and pulled out about every palette that I have that has blue in it because I wanted to use a lot of different shades of blue to create like a dimensional effect. So I took out all of my blue palettes, the one from Mel Huda, Wayne Goss. This Wayne Goss palette is so hard to open. <laughs> I always have to get a tool, some tweezers or something to get it open. But I got it open. And the Frida Kahlo palette that I got from Ulta. That's an Ulta Beauty palette. That's a nice blue there that I want to use. And this Opaline palette came in a beauty box. I don't remember which one. It has some nice light blue shades that I wanted to use. And the Sunday Brunch palette that I got from Fashion Stop, the box, has a pretty blue, it's like a shimmery blue color. So I'm using a brown from the, um, I believe that's the Ocaline palette that I wanted to outline the butterfly with, just to get down the shape that I wanted. So I have kind of like a diagram to follow for the blue colors. I saw this picture of a beautiful butterfly that I'm trying to replicate here. <laughs> But I got the four wings pretty much shaped out right there. So now I'm using the Oakland palette. That's a matte kind of light blue that I want to use as the base. Just the blue base that I that I want to um, go over with all of the other colors. It's nice and matte and gives me an idea of where I want to go with these colors. And then next I decided to use a slightly deeper shade, just slightly. It had a little bit of shimmer from the same palette. I wanted to start layering the dimensional effects. So 
of it. And I took the beautiful blue shade from the Frida Kahlo palette. It has a nice shimmer to it. It's such a pretty blue. So I, want, I wanted to make sure that I use that one. And then to layer a little bit more dimension, I decided to use this sort of a light blue shimmer from the Huda Beauty palette, the Sapphire palette. I love the way these different shades of blue layered up. And then I took this really bright sparkly blue from the Milk Stack and put it on top. It really added some dimension. So I really like that. I wasn't spitting right there. <laughs> I was blowing some dust off of the palette. <laughs> and then I took the black from the Wayne Goss to add some shadow around the edge. And the, the butterfly that I was looking at, it has a black frame around it. It's really beautiful. So I wanted to put that soft black frame around the blue. Some more shape to the butterfly. And it adds a nice dimension too. And then I took this um, black eyeliner pencil from La Rock and went around the very edge of the shapes to add more definition. It's really smooth and it glided over the colors really nicely. And here I'm attempting to draw the body of the butterfly. <laughs> it wasn't perfect, but it turned out okay. The head, the body. I had to redo one of the antenna. Right there, I had to redo it. And now this is a glitter eyeliner that I got that I got in my fashion style box that came today. I didn't really have time to do the unboxing, but this glitter liner is called Goblet. It's like a gold glitter. I thought it was just perfect for this. And I wanted to put dots all around, uh, especially where the black is. Because on the actual butterfly, the black has little dots. It's really pretty. So I was trying to replicate that. Of course, nobody does it like Mother Nature, but I was trying. <laughs> Putting it around my eyes too because 
I um, went back over my eyes, my eye lids, and well, not actually my lids, but my lower lash line and my upper lash line with the Lorac pencil again because I wanted to give the effect of the separation between the wings with the black liner. So I was using the black liner right there to put that line there. And so everywhere I had the black, I wanted to put some of that gold sparkle too. So here I'm applying the liner. wasn't quite thick enough or visible enough for me so I'll put some more and then I added some more gold dots where I had put the black liner or just outside of the liner actually in that area and this is a lip pencil from LA Splash in the shade terracotta I like this lip pencil because it has a little smudger on the end so you draw your line and then you flip it around and use the smudger to like blend it out so that's what I did here I'm doing the line right here now with the smudger I didn't want to fill it all the way in with the lip liner, but almost. Now I'm using NYX Butter Gloss in the shade um, Cherry, Cherry something. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Wow, this is a nice light pink shade. 